Welcome back. The Great Aloha Run Expo is this weekend, and it leads up to Monday's big race. Let's send things over to Marissa, who's with Great Aloha Run President and Co-Founder Carol Kai and the Race Director Brent Immonen. Thanks so much, Kathy, and thank you so much, Carol and Brent, for being here with us. Uh, the day is almost has almost arrived after all this work, uh, but before the race, you have the expo, right? We have a two-day expo uh, Saturday all day from 9 to 7, and then Sunday from 9 to 5, and then, of course, the big run. Yeah. But as far as the expo, can anybody go, or is it only people anybody who are participating? Anybody can go. In fact, we're going to have on Saturday night the uh, second annual Miss Great Aloha Run and Miss Teen Great Aloha Run pageant. The girls are beautiful, so you have to come down and enjoy the beauty, and then there's lots of food, lots of things to buy, anything for your health and sports and fitness will be there. And can people still register for the race? Last chance, right? Well, yep, all weekend long, Saturdays and Sunday. And as far as the race itself, could you tell us a little bit about it? It's Aloha Tower to Aloha Stadium, right? Yeah, 8.12 miles to from Aloha Tower to Aloha Stadium. Um, a lot of flat uh, land with some of it um, undercover under the viaduct. So it'll be nice and cool probably that morning. And uh, we're looking forward to a lot of uh, entertainment, uh, some bands, um, uh, taiko drumming, hula along the course. Uh, so it should be a lot of Korean, Chinese, Filipino dancing. Wow. Yeah, lots yeah. of stuff to see. It's a big party, like it's a celebration yes. afterwards, right? It's a celebration. Right? It's our 35th annual. Yes. And um, for those of you who do not run, do not walk, or you're on the mainland visiting, you can do the virtual run where you sign up and you uh, give a donation and you get this uh, great souvenir medal that we're giving out this 35th anniversary year and uh, a Aloha in a Box, over $60 <laughs> of Aloha in a Box. Wow, that's a great incentive because um, a lot of you folks are volunteering your time too, yes. right? A lot of it goes back to help the community. The community. 50 charities every year, right? That's incredible. Yeah, it's, it's a big community commitment. Uh, we've got Hawaii Pacific Health Medical personnel out there making sure everybody's safe. We've got 4,000 volunteers, and then we've obviously got 18,000 or so runners. And so in addition to the medal, you also get a t-shirt, right? Yeah, a finisher shirt, <laughs> yeah. and you get food to eat, bananas, lots to drink. <laughs> it's going to be a party time. <laughs> and how many people are you expecting? Uh, about 20,000. A lot. And at, at the stadium party, the Tonga sisters, oh, have you great. heard of them? Yes. They're going to be performing voices, there. Yeah. Yeah. And 35th year, can you believe it's been this long? No. And it started with the bed <laughs> race, right? Yes, it did. Wow. Yeah. Time and, sure flies. And it all starts with the uh, National Guard um, pulling the plug on the howitzer. So it'll be a nice big boom, and yes. then everything, everybody will start running. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. For, for more information, where do they go? The greateralohoran.com uh, okay. website, and uh, obviously the expo would be great if they want to come down there and experience some lifestyle and fitness um, activities. And thank you, Governor Ige, because he's going to be running. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Carolyn Brent. Thank you. Back to you, Kathy.